We're in the car again, a quick stop at the Loo Block on the way out and we're off. Loo Town is only a couple of miles away, but it's 30 odd degrees out today and I'm pretty sure there isn't a pavement for long stretches of the route. Some friends have come over to site to visit us, so we've all decided to be lazy and take the cars down, which could be a monumental mistake as it's Saturday of the late August bank holiday weekend. So as you can see, while there was pavement near the site and at the town end, there were big stretches with none. There were some stretches of grass verge though that we could have walked on, but by no means an easy walk, especially with four overexcited kids who haven't seen each other for a month or so. Anyway, coming into Lou, we make the mistake of thinking we've spotted a parking space and then get trapped for a while trying to reverse out. And the small town is absolutely heaving. So we do the very British thing of lurking around the car park, following potential levers back to their spaces and bagging the spot by turning the indicators on. Whilst finally parked in the massive West Loo car park, we wander back across the bridge over the East Loo River. And then a nice little meander through the town. Right at the end of the town centre is a packed but lovely sandy breach. No, let's go, let's walk back up that way and we'll find a space over there. No, but surely we should go over on the map. Yeah, that's less good crowded. Point. Yeah, good point. There's, There's a little space. And my entirely mad friend has decided to go for a dip. Entirely mad because she seems to think that swimming in the sea around England is entirely pleasant, even if it's a little bracing. Whereas we've just got back from lovely Greece, where frankly it is actually pleasant to swim in the sea, as you're not likely to develop frostbite by doing so. Anyway, all four boys are desperate to go crabbing rather than freeze themselves in the sea, so Dad on a mission and I procure some bait and a little spot and then proceed to panic about one of the four of them falling in. <laughs> Big one. Who has an in Clavin? No! Okay, back in so you can get it in. What is that? Seaweed. Crabs! Seaweed. Crabs! Do you not see that? Not crabs! Hey. One crab. No, I can hear you. Where? On there, look! There's a crab on there! In the seaweed. Oh my God. No! no. <laughs> Okay, get the seaweed off. I, I've, I've had four now, but they've all fallen off. Seriously. Oh, it's a big one. Bring it up the wall. Bring it up the wall. Bring it up the wall. No! No. Don't leave it up there. You'll have a seagull who's watching you. He's doing his best. Is it stuck on the seaweed? Pull it. They put grab into it. They can't pull off. Yeah. Oh, seaweed. Nice catch of seaweed. Oh, you've got seaweed? Yeah, he's got a great catch of seaweed. Mm -hmm. Is that how it looks Is it threaded really strongly for a few times? I good. Oh, you look near the edge. I good. I got one. Oh! a huge one. Okay, nice and slowly. I'll get the bucket. Yeah, someone's gonna get the 
Should I start standing up now? It's getting close. Yep. Oh, it's come off. Like, no. Yes. Yay! Yay! Good catch. Co op. Co op. Yeah. Co -op. But that is my thing, Daddy. Okay, so I'm going to stay with you. They've managed to catch a few. Uh, lots more crabs fell back in while they were being hauled up, but at least they all got a good feed of bacon for their trouble. Understandably, a lot of gulls around the harbour here, and this rather cheeky one arrived and swooped in as soon as our first line went in. Failed to grab any of the bacon sold as bait that time, but it's been hanging around waiting for an opportunity ever since. No, no, no. no. Hey! We have lost one of our bacons. <laughs> just came over and ate it because everybody was paying attention over there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Evidence, evidence of bacon thievery. Yes, you. The bacon thief. The boys were doing really well guarding all the bait supplies till this evil thing came along and brazenly nabbed it while the, someone's attention was momentarily diverted onto the latest catch. So that was the end of crabbing for the day. A little wander back through the town to a now much emptier car park and we're heading back up to the Lou Caravan and Motorhome Club site for a barbecue altogether. Thanks for following along with our little trip today. Hope you enjoyed seeing around Lou. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. <laughs>